Ikei, a bloke called Simon Black. He's had a stand there a few times with his great, great, great young people at the Simon Black Academy with the wonderful, equally wonderful Nathan Clark. Great teachers, because you know why? It's a calling for them. Okay, and I don't want to go much more into it, but a lot of you guys I know, you've been given the bag of balls and that's you to carry it, okay? But here, these guys are learning to get better. They're all doing um, coaching sort of qualifications. So this first part, again, you've seen me do this before from Bob Pengratzi, okay? It's the whistle control. And of course, hey, if they're indeed athletes, some of them looking to get drafted, okay, if they don't look like it, they're back until they're ready. Once again, guys, I've got a little thing in my head about this AFL get around them. Guys, that's just words if you keep saying it and you don't back it up with action. So, right, at this point, we whip them into a bit of learning mode because once again, how can you engage if they're not paying attention? Roll the tape. But were you happy with how you came over here? Was it with a lot of confidence? Yeah. Well, there you go. Go over and try it again. Woo! Yeah, that's yeah. it. We're going to talk now. Woo! Keep on the toe. If I blow the whistle hey, twice, if I blow the whistle, listen up. If I blow the whistle twice, you show me you're an athlete. Oh, is that like hangers? Yes. Yeah. Hey, it! Woo! I, I beg your pardon. This lady here showed me she was an athlete. Okay, I might have to show you how to do it. Just jog back to that orange. And by the time, you get back, I'll show you what I want. Come on, let's go. Oh, yes, let's go! Let's do it! Get up. Woo! Get up. <laughs> Are you happy with that? That was a pretty yeah. simple instruction. What did I say? By the time you got around that corner, I was going to show you what? How to be an athlete. Yeah. Has anyone shown me? I, I, I modelled it, I showed you what to do. See, in guys in AFL in particular, too many people tell you what to do. Okay, I showed you what to do, but you come here just going through the motions, going through the motions, kick to kick, kick to kick, you don't even think about it. You're already that bloody skilled. Okay, I'm gonna say it one more time. By the time you get around that orange, you're gonna see what an athlete looks like. And it doesn't look like this, but it's certainly gonna show you the action I'm after. I beg your pardon, you yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, where we go. Where you go. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Simon Black Academy. <laughs> here it is, here, look at it. Look at it. Show me now first. Show me. Hands on knees. Hands on knees. Okay, pick your footy up and come to me. If I blow the whistle twice, that's what I want to see. Where you go, come. Guard engagement, a little known fact, have a look at me. Middle distance coach level three. Long distance and middle distance coach back in the day. Okay, the great Vern Gambetta. These American people, blow the dust off a few of the old textbooks. Okay, Vern talked back in the 60s about how important crawling is for our preparation. Okay, so again, when I'm trying to whip them into a bit of engagement mode, remember paying attention. Okay, it's a little bit of accountability. I'll ask him, are you happy with that? Are you happy with that? Someone will tell me the truth, usually. Like, if they're not happy, they go for a crawl. And in a collision sport, the ones that we've been working with through, for example, Brothers Rugby Union or Valleys Leagues or Wilson Grange, gorillas, okay, concussion, very, very, very prevalent. Okay, this Crawling, if done properly, builds up the neck strength. And guys, okay, we know there's an explosion of women. Twice as likely, twice as likely to be concussed as a man. Okay, so no complaints, they know that. Uh, okay, they've got to focus on the learning. And once again, get around it. Well, show me you're getting around me and the learning early on through the training. And if not, it's not going to hurt you to crawl. In fact, that's great. Roll the tape. Without a line. Do you understand? I beg your pardon, do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so where do you go for a crawl? Crawl, hands and feet, hands and feet. Hands keep your head up, keep your head up. Oh, yeah. Are you happy with that? 
Thank you for your honesty. Give him a round of applause. Get around him. Get around him. Get around him. Okay, I hear it all the time. I don't see the actions. Where you go for another crawl then? Go for another crawl. Thank you. Go for another crawl. Get around him. This is a big AFL thing. We want to see the actions. Are you happy with that? Are you not happy? Why are you going for a crawl? Yeah, get around him. Go for a crawl. I beg your pardon. That was great. I like the way you're doing it. You're looking like an athlete, but where's the opposition? I beg your pardon, where is the opposition? Uh, Here. Yeah. Here. Okay. Turn around, show me. 180. Are you happy? No. No. Way you go, crawl everyone. Yeah. <laughs> That's getting better, crawl. Are you happy? Where's your opposition? <laughs> Of course, I demand respect. I'm an AFL coach. I tell you exactly what to do. You don't have time to think in AFL. And don't let me get started on a thing called line coaching. Biggest load of rubbish I've ever heard in my life. Go for another crawl just because of line coaching. <laughs> line coaching. That's much better, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> some questions from the uh, young people apparently. Okay, he's teaching us again all this stuff about coaching. Remember guys, what you've possibly learned is the what. This is the how that any primary school teacher knows, okay? How do I learn more? Right, I'm telling you this much. You subscribe, okay? Ding-a-ding-ding, -ding, ring the bell, and I'm telling you, you're gonna come across very soon the ultimate guide of gun engagement for the beginner coach. Okay, it's gonna cover all of those in depth. Got the tape.